Hello. Good to see you. All right there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein in the Road 100, where today we have two very annoying, well, actually three very annoying bosses that we have to run through. So we are going to kind of be annoying to them uh, right back. Not that they actually care, have feelings about it, or anything otherwise, but what we were going to run here, we're going to run Ishtar for the duo, and we're going to run status sets on the um, Cannoneer, and then we're going to run fire and status debuffs on the um, on the uh, blade bear now she's the hardest one to get to sit still so hopefully we do get her slowed or stunned at any point in time but since she's so dodgy dodgy all the time when we are going for her we will have quick mobility and we'll be able to hopefully chase her down uh, as much as we possibly can even though we don't really have a big uh, stat scaling here at strength or dex because we don't really have even that high of strength or dex but the nice thing will be that we will be invincible to her and mostly invincible to the cannoneer if we have fireproof tonics active so we will go for this first we'll go for her and we will be quick mobility with a hammer uh, well they call it a hammer but it is an axe uh, it's even called such uh, the lost heavy axe and it's in the hammer category. So uh, as we go through this uh, conundrum here with these two, uh, we are going to simply try for as many charge attacks as we can. We'll be quick mobility, so we'll be able to dodge around uh, along the way, but we don't really have too much stamina. 264 is pretty good. Uh, it's one of the higher ones in the game, and uh, we're just gonna have to try and get as many hits as we can. That's where the uh, difficulty is going to come in. So we will go for uh, our tonics here and then we will go for all of the status effects and then we will try for uh, as many hits as we can as we get in here to go for the blade bear first uh, whoops see we already missed her okay and because we are quick uh, we are able to uh, you know get away from her uh, kind of at a moment's notice I can't see okay and we're getting beat up here pretty good. And so hopefully uh, we get her step stunned or slowed or something. Okay, we got her inhibited, we got her slowed, uh, and we got her poisoned. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we're just uh, tanking it in the face here now. All of a sudden, let's go ahead and heal up. At least she's uh, still poisoned here a little bit. Okay. And as you can see, the uh, dodging... Uh, version here of our attacks they do they do fairly well uh, overall because we're able to uh, constantly keep up with her uh, in a sense here's the uh, graphics glitch okay and hopefully we uh, can get uh, all of all of our gifts going here good oh oh okay and uh, hopefully we get her stunned or something Okay, nope. Ouch. Okay. And let's uh, get over here. Now we're, yep, I was going to say we're getting out of our uh, comfort zone here for our uh, gifts and everything. So let's uh, get these going. Okay, she's at least poisoned. So that's nice. Okay. Hang in there, Mia. Oops. Okay, we need to get our... Uh, Tonic's going here again. Okay, this idiot's gonna shoot us in the back. That's fine. Uh, she should be uh, out of here. Awesome. So now we can uh, focus on the big chunk, the big chunkster here, the biggest chunkster of them all. Okay, and now we are normal mobility, which is fine. Uh, we should be uh, completely okay. And the cool thing is, is that we're able to uh, get this guy slowed and basically uh, st stun locked uh, the entire time here. Okay, let's get our uh, gifts going. Good. I don't know why Mia's not giving me um, her ver her uh, time uh, gift extension, but that's fine. Okay, let's go for a couple more here. Okay, and more charge, more charge, more charge. Very nice. And he's slowed. We're dead. <laughs> Even though he's slowed, we're still dead. How awesome. Okay, let's get uh, a couple more hits here. 
if we can. Okay. Of course, he had to jump out of the way there. Okay, uh, he is poisoned, so we'll go for a Venom Cartridge for no reason. Okay, oh, he uh, definitely got me on that one that time. That's okay. Alright, we'll just dodge out of the way here. Whoops. Okay, let's go ahead and heal. Okay, and we'll heal it all, all up here. Ouch. Because he's going to uh, destroy us here otherwise. And let's get a fire thing. And let's go for our fire veil instead. Okay. And this and this and this and this and this. Okay. And this. <laughs> uh, it's a very tall order here of what we want to do and what we want to go for. Ouch. Okay. And this should uh, stagger him up and slow him up. Okay. And there we go. That's the Blade Baron Cannoneer. It's an absolutely ridiculous way to go about uh, engaging these two uh, for this duo fight here, but uh, it sure does uh, make for a whole lot of fun uh, going for uh, <laughs> this kill overall. All right, now we are going to switch gears and we're going to try as much as we can to go for the uh, Mito one-shot here if we can. Uh, the Argent Wolf, uh, the Argent Wolf, uh, Warhammer here is, uh, very, very, very high on the damage list. Uh, the only other one that comes close, obviously, is its fortified version, and the, uh, Queenslayer Hammer and the Juggernaut Sledgehammer at 2170. So we're at 2188, and the next... What's up? Hammer in line is the Juggernaut Sledgehammer at 2170. So we will uh, attempt to do our best here. So we'll definitely get this and a this and this and I think we're good on the rest of this. Um, we don't really need anything else, but we can go for better stamina recovery if we need to. But hopefully this works. Uh, like we think it does now. I it may not be a one-shot, uh, but it will be very close to it um, Mito's fight is a little bit weird in that if you get him into a position where he's already done an action and then you attack him uh, It can go very fast, but your uh, mobility enhancer may run out and in that the event us. then Looks you are kind of uh, then you are kind of uh, out of whoops what is then you're kind of out of luck but if he is moving all over the place and you don't get that opening then you're going to lose your mobility enhancer which means then you need to reapply the mobility enhancer which means then you need to do a whole bunch of things uh and and it just uh your bad luck just snowballs from there okay so always enter the meadow fight and then uh missile route back so that way you are able to um so that way you're able to get a fair fight where he uh, where he doesn't uh, walk up on you before you actually have a chance to engage him. So this is a, a, a nice way to ignore his opening sequence and everything uh, of him walking towards you and being active immediately into the fight. It also gets you closer to him so your gifts don't run out as fast. So here we go. Let's see what the Argent... Wolf Warhammer has in store for us, whether or not we are actually able and capable to use this hammer uh, like the Wrathful Bauman. There is no guarantee, but uh, we will see if we can get it to happen. Okay, good. Okay, let's get one of these. This, one of these. Okay, uh, one of these, Gift Accelerator. Good, and final journey, okay, this, and now, the fast strike, and let's go, okay, and that, and then go, see, it's not quite a one shot, but it's a two shot, <laughs> uh, which is where the Wrathful Balmung uh, has about 80, it has about 80 more damage, um, than the Argent Wolf Warhammer here at uh, 2188, and that one comes in at 2266. 
uh, if I remember right, uh, let me check here for you guys, just so you fit uh, in your visible knowledge here. So we're at 2266, so yeah, we're about 58, um, or 80, 78. Your 78 more damage actually translates to that little piece of bar that he had there. Uh, but if you are so lucky for it, uh, there is a chance sometimes that Jack will attack him with a bloodshot, which will be almost just barely enough damage for you to actually get um, the one shot with the uh, Argent Wolf Hammer, Wolf War Hammer here. Instead, uh, we get very, 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 very nearly close to it, and unfortunately, we can't actually get it with a hammer. This is like as high as you can go with Watch a hammer. Uh, with the light value, with uh, quick mobility, with everything, and uh, hammers unfortunately are given a raw deal that they are literally just a few points of damage lower than the greatswords, and unfortunately that translates to uh, possible one-shots with um, greatswords are not possible with hammers, which is kind of a kind of a bummer in a sense because you would think that anything that a giant uh, bludgeoning blade could do a a hammer could do as well and since the since the hammers you know do score very high on the damage values i mean 2188 is no small base value and neither is 2170 uh for the um juggernaut sledgehammer Moving. and that's not that bad of a value but you can see that it's literally just a few points short of being perfectly set up and positioned to do one shot uh, builds for later bosses in the game here but that is still a very very high damage value uh, probably around the hundred and ten thousand range uh, is what this one shot build can run here for the middle fight uh, and you're just at like 600 damage or so smaller lower uh, fewer <laughs> Whatever the whatever the correct word there is, but you're just short of that full 100% value to get that one shot. So unfortunate there, but it is uh, it is a lot of fun to uh, try and speed up that uh, engagement there with Mito as fast as possible, just to uh, take the pain out of. No, it doesn't, Jack. Uh, it just takes the pain out of that entire engagement there, all together. So a little bit of a a little bit of a shorter. Um, you know, episode today and whatever, uh, but uh, the Blade Baron Cannon here was a lot of fun. Um, Mito was absolutely exceptionally fun because we don't actually have to fight him, uh, and if we are, you know, running this for other builds and stuff, uh, it makes for a great, great way to speed up hammers to, you know, make your way through these bosses uh, infinitely easier and infinitely faster than, uh, you know, actually trying to do anything with any appreciable amount of skill. And so if you don't have skill, just use your brains, and then you are able to, you know, burn these bosses down very, very quickly. So anyways, uh, I think we'll call it here for today. And uh, I want to try a, a something different for tomorrow. So um, uh, just go ahead and expect that. And uh, I'll see you guys also tomorrow back here in Maine. So thanks everyone for watching. And I love you all. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good one.